Second to last, episode 9, season 2, random pubs. Junk Flea CTF, 7 minutes. Oh my gosh, I love Junk Flea Capture the Flag. Um, recently I've been seeing more and more Junk Flea CTF games. I remember there was kind of a period back when uh, everybody played in golf. Because, like, the old Bravo servers, um, people just didn't play in them. And I remember, um, a lot of people played in golf. And golf was, like, a level one. Next I got rid of this system. But there was, like, a, like, a rank to the servers. Rank one, two, three. Uh, rank one was, um, either low ranks or all players could play in them. But it only had, like, the eight, f the first eight basic maps. Like, Junk Flea, Grey Hammer, um, Snow Valley. And then they had level 2, which is like intermediate, and then level 3, which was all maps, including the most recent maps. So they did away with that system, as you guys all know of. But back when um, I played in golf, which is level 1, um, everybody played Junk Flea and Snow Valley. It was all Junk Flea and Snow Valley, because those are the only two popular maps of like the first eight maps. I mean... There were other games like Brushwood and stuff like that, but for the most part it was Junk Flea and Snow Valley. And I remember finding Junk Flea games all the time. And then all of a sudden they just stopped once they got rid of that server and rearranged the servers. And now I'm starting to see more Junk Flea CTF games and I'm really happy. Um, I've kind of met some more people too who play Junk Flea CTF like um, uh, the guy Right Arrow. His clan is Revoke. Uh, they, they're CTF players. Um, Elite Shots. Yeah, they're CTF players, but they don't really like me too much. Uh, yeah, no, so it's all good. CTF is the best map, but I don't, I, I want, I want you guys to tell me, because I don't understand this. Um, when it goes like, I mean, if you're in like a junk fleet elimination, no nades room, okay? And you just finished the game, and you want to play it again, so you're ready up. And then the master changes it to Junk Flea CTF. No explosives. I swear to God, everyone leaves. What? What's the diff? What's the deal? CTF is just like a limb, but with an objective. If anything, it's easier. If you're the type of guy who doesn't care about your KDR, but you want GP and EXP, rush the flag. Get flag caps and stuff. If you're the type of guy who wants KDR and to do, you know, the best possible game, CTF is, like, so easy to farm. CTF is probably, CTF and Bombing Run are probably the best farm modes because the way that you can stack teams and the way that you can, like, make the game last forever, it's the best freaking mode ever. Um, actually, I take that back. Uh, GPEXP for CTF is horrible absolutely horrible i mean if you get a thousand exp in a ctf match you'll be in the top five players for the next day for sure um yeah for sure for sure because in my top five um i'm getting like 400 to 800 exp and i'm getting the top five for some of mine So, uh, I don't know what else to talk about, man. Oh, I can talk a little bit. I don't know if I hinted on this earlier. Future videos. Um, I was thinking about doing a review for my gaming keyboard or my gaming mouse. Um, my gaming keyboard is a Merc Stealth Series. No, wait. Steel Series Merc Stealth. Sorry, a little dyslexia going on there. This keyboard, it's a, it's an FPS keyboard. You know, you've seen like other. There's like the standard keyboard, and then there's like RPG keyboards and RPG keyboards. They just have a crap load of buttons, and all the buttons have assignable macros. So like, you know, you have F. 16 you know for whatever i'm just gonna put that out there and f16 you can program it so it opens up your world of warcraft for you 
Uh, there's those types of keyboards. And then the one that I have is actually an FPS keyboard. And it has, you know how you use WASD for walking. Um, it actually has a whole other keyboard like set to the side that's like specifically designed for that. Um, I actually don't use those anymore because Nexon considers those macros. So I don't use that anymore because Nexon's gay in the face. But you guys can go ahead and look that up. Again, it's Steel Series Merc Stealth. And that's Merc as in like the first four letters of Mercenary. Uh, yeah, so as, as I was saying, that and my Logitech G500, I want to do a review on both of those. Um, I got all the, as you can hear, I got a paper of a couple of notes to talk about, key points to hit on. I still think I got time. Alright, yeah, six minutes, I still got another minute to talk. And I also wanted to do a video about my computer. I recently got dual monitors, recently being a month ago. And, uh, yeah, dual monitors, they rock. I use my computer for so much more than gaming. Um, architecture, video editing, audio editing, um, like, messing around with files and stuff. Dual monitors is just that much more workspace for you to focus in. Because, let's face it, all the computers today, they have more than enough processing power to handle all the needs that you can fit onto one screen so they'll usually have enough power to handle everything on two screens uh... alright this video is coming to a close junk flu ctf my favorite ever fortunately kicked but that's a-okay because i had fun see you guys later